Good morning, Nystrom. Happy Wednesday, and happy last day of school. You have made it. Teachers, you have made it too. Congratulations. This has been a year unlike any other, and all I can really say is thank you, thank you, and thank you. To think of how far we've come during this year is really remarkable. See, it was last March 13th, 2020, that we were all together at Nystrom one last time. And when we announced that school had to close, we thought we were just going to be closed a couple weeks. We thought we'd be back after spring break, but then spring break mm, kept that, said ah, maybe later, maybe later. And we made it that way through the end of the school year. But even then, we still thought, oh, come August, we'll be back. And we weren't. COVID continued to grow and be out there, and it wasn't safe. So all of you made this work, and I can't say thank you enough. Teachers learned a whole new way of teaching. We all learned all about Zoom. Parents bent over backwards to support you and, in doing so, us. That may have meant changing your hours at work. That may have meant quitting your job. That may mean sitting by your child day in and day out just to help them with their classwork. All of that. You had no idea what you were getting into, and so we say thank you. For the students, thank you for showing up every day. I know it gets old sitting at a computer all day long and talking on Zoom, because that's what all of us have been doing, adults and students alike. And it is not nearly as fun as being at school and being able to see people and be able to play at recess. All of those things I missed tremendously too. So thank you for giving it your best shot over the last 10 months and even longer dating back to last year. And teachers and staff, whew, thank you. What a ride this has been. This is not what you were trained for when you went to school to become a teacher. Probably a year and a half ago, none of us really knew how Zoom worked. So thank you for figuring it out. Thank you for leaning in and trying so hard and doing some amazing things. All of this, all of you, I am so proud to be a part of this Nystrom community. You have done some amazing things over the course of this year. As you know, six or seven weeks ago in the middle of April, we started to have some students back, but even then, it wasn't that many. Not nearly like the 500 we normally have. But it was so great to be around students again be on the playground playing, see kids in class and in the hallways. And that leads us to the fall, to August. We don't know what exactly that'll look like yet, but we really, really hope that when we come back, we are all together and able to play and learn as one Nystrom community. That is the plan at this point, and I definitely Look forward to seeing all 500 of your smiling faces in August. So thank you for going on this ride with us. Really appreciate it. Can't thank you enough for how flexible you, are, you have been. And we look forward to seeing you in August, all of you. All right, we talked about this yesterday, but it bears worth repeating. Some news for the end of the year. Your tablets. What you are watching me on now, stay with you so long as you are coming back to Nystrom in August or you are going to another West Contra Costa Unified school. So let's say you are moving on to Dijon, you get to keep your tablet. Let's say your family moved and you are going to enroll at Chavez. You keep your tablet and bring it back there. But let's say your family moved and you're going to start going to school in Oakland or Los Angeles or Las Vegas. You need to return your tablet to Nystrom. Let's say you're going to go to a charter school next year. We need that tablet back. So please do return it to the office if you are not coming back to Nystrom or a district school next year. The office will be open through the middle of July for that. Keep in mind, as you hang on to those, treat them well. You are responsible for them. So keep them safe, 
keep them in good condition all summer long. As I mentioned yesterday, report cards will be mailed home. Sixth graders, your certificates, if you did not swing by on Friday, you can pick them up in the Nystrom office. And also any books that you have, not workbooks, but books, please do return to the school. You can do that in the office. That would be much appreciated. All right, final riddle answer. What has a bottom at the top? So our winners, Miss Ibby Lola, Mr. Z, Miss Schultz, Miss Pierce, Miss Fairweather, Miss Massa, Miss Heller, Miss Franco, Miss Jang, Miss Lydia, and Miss Etchy. And the answer was legs. You get it? What's atop your legs? Your bottom. All right. It has been so much fun doing riddles with you all year long. I need a break from the riddles so that I can come up with new ones. It's been 180 days of announcements, so I have no riddles left in me. All that being said, I look forward to having more thinking fun with you in August. That is it for today, and that is it for the school year. All summer long, keep in mind those four Bs. Be responsible, be respectful, be safe, and be honest. And did I say that be safe one? That means be safe with your mask. That means be safe out in the community. We want to see you, everyone back in the fall, nice and safe. So with that, I wish you a very great summer. Have a great day. Have a great summer or not, the choice is yours.